Hello everybody, it's Renox here and uh, well I'm just coming back for warship craft after I believe it's around six to seven months so a very long time since I've come back to this and I just want to welcome you to the HMS Royal Roma. Now it's a it's a brand new aircraft carrier I've built probably about in the last three days um, so I've saved up for uh, new runways, new systems um, bought a new bomber and um, yeah so I've just saved up a lot of money for this one um, so it's, it's something to show out so it's the uh, code is RR-83 so you just use the uh, I uh, on the side on that side um, just to just have a quick look around honestly it's, it's what is this part of it uh, so where the I'll just end that there uh, where this part is underneath uh, the um, oh, what's it called? The angled flight deck, one hundred meter. Uh, I've put six hundred millimeter armor. Now the reason of because of this is because it used to house uh, an aircraft boiler or an angled boiler. Um, so it's to carry this one. Now it's not. It was made the ship too fast for the aircraft to land on. Um, well, of course the aircraft can land at any uh, speed. But the problem was it was just a little bit. Uh, annoying because the planes have got to go it takes longer for them to uh, land so it's best to have it slower uh, and also uh, we can try and keep our distance away from other ships I've just stuck on some like useless pieces of rubbish like bollards um, and just some really tiny guns for 47 mils uh, so they're not very powerful got two bridges just for decorations in a way um, but it does help with heights, it means we can get our radar kind of uh, idea. We've got the domes as uh, radar sensors and we've got our aircraft at the back. They can land on all three, but they can only take off on two. So it's these two uh, and they can land on this one and all the other two as well. So we'll just uh, have a quick little test out on our armoured uh, free design. So as you can see, the aeroplanes well, they take off pretty fast, and when they come back, they're pretty quick of landing. It takes them, well, about half the time it takes them to take off. So we can see, it. we'll just whack up to the max speed, I think it's around 30 to 40 kilometers, uh, sorry, knots, um, which is not very fast at all, but is fast due to real life warships and um, aircraft carriers alike. So as you can see, oh, it did take it out pretty, pretty well. So our bombers have just damaged the front of it, what's caused it to sink. Um, and well, 32.8 knots, not bad. We can see our aircraft coming in. And I'll watch them as they land as well. So you can see it comes up green. Now, one of them is coming at an angle. You see the one that's around here. Um, so that's landing on the angle one and it just it's faster it's more efficient really uh, and they have longer in the way have they destroyed it yet? not really so we'll just send us another bombing run and torpedo bomber uh, torpedo bomber I'll probably sink it uh, as you can see there's little torpedoes underneath the ship uh, sorry the aeroplane And how the hell did it completely mess by that much? I think we can try and sink it with our 47 mils. Well, try. They're not going to do much. We can try and make it sink um, by damaging too many components. Or we could just leave it now. So we'll just leave that. So that's the HMS Royal Roma. Um, I came up with the name just randomly. Um, it was in the start of HMS Queen Elizabeth, what came out, um, well, a while now, and it's just finishing the sea trials. Um, so, so that was the reason why I built the aircraft car, and also I needed an update on it, because it was pretty bad. That's the base design of it. Uh, so we've got 200mm light armour, 600 millimeter light armor the front uh, and half 600 millimeters some one six hole one six hole two times one 
five sixths hole and yeah similar rounds and then we've got heavy ballast at the bottom with uh just normal hole at the side we have got armor at the back as well because it is important to keep uh ship armored in certain places and the same as the back and we've got our propellers and we've got our rudder in this one there's a gap in between it but in the hms royal roma um there isn't there's just uh straight away but it has a similar to design it was built of that design uh, the only real difference is that it's wider and it's more angled on the sides uh, due to the fact it had to carry more than what i was actually thinking it would have carried in the original plan now the other ship i need to show you guys is the type 77 it's a kind of a type 45 destroyer with a frigate uh, involved in it so i've kind of just made up a, a type uh, really so it's using the 127 mm uh, mod 2s two of them on the spy one radar hull it's using the ladders as like a bridge kind of thing with the stairs upside down to make it look like more like a bridge in a way and it's got the range uh, range finder plus radar on top on top of the bridge it's got the oto uh 76 mils uh, i've got four of those and we now have six vls's in the back so it's a huge improvement i only had two at one point and now i have six so it's taken a very long time but this is probably the most effective ship i have at the moment it's very good for long range and it's well these can only do 15.5 kilometers whilst these can only do 7.6 i believe uh i'll just quickly check for you guys so it can only do oh 9.2 sorry and 18.7 so i've got it completely wrong don't know where i've got that from probably from the old ship i had uh hms glory as you can see hms glory has been stripped down of everything it has the vls has been removed at the back the armor is basically useless completely there's no strength really to it uh, of course it's got the 356 mils and it's still got everything else color coded to what it is um and it's a good test ship for some reason everything's just still loading We've also got our first submarine kind of builds. Uh, that would have a underwater torpedo tube, but I removed it to build um, the other uh, part of the Type 77. Uh, so that works perfectly fine. And then I've got the FKY058. Now that's a um, very long ship. 500 metres, so that's half a kilometre um, of just cargo ship, basically. It has got guns on it, it's very good for testing out VLSs, um, just to see how much it can damage over a very long ship. Um, it's very hard, i got to say, it took five VLSs to destroy it, and they hit in different spots. Um, so, it is very, like, the longer the ship, the harder it is kind of to sink in a way, but it does take up majority of its capacity of how much it can hold, um, and it's not that bad. And then of course we've got HMS Hawk is just our uh, test ship. So in the missions, the most easiest one to get money on with the Tate 77 is Jewel 9, the Montana. So we just speed up and then activate the VLS's ready and just wait for it to come up on the range. Now you have to fire a couple shots at the engines to shut down the engines. You can see there's no smoke coming out of it and you can literally just fire all your VLS's now and you, for some reason some of them just go underneath the ship so that there's a massive hole in it in, in, in a sense but it should really just destroy it uh, so it looked two VLS's were not needed for that battle so that's basically all I really have to show you um, it, it can literally be um, so we've we got the Mustang uh, multi Sorry, multi-stage airbase, we got that. Done the airbase and done the Yamato. What was not very successful, but because the fact is that the gun, there weren't that many guns close range on the Type 77, uh, compared to HMS Glory, uh, which had tons of guns, but not as the strength of it's required. Um, it could basically do everything else. The most good one for both the ships that are needed 
the Type 77 and the HMS Roma, Royal Roma, is the stop operation Rhine. Um, well, it's just more successful in its approach to the battle itself. So you just have to speed up, get in front of the aircraft carrier, let the aircraft go, and then just slow down whilst we wait. Activate the VLSs, and this is where it's important to um, just just give it time. Patience is a virtue on this one. So you have to wait until there we go. That that moment where it says one of the ships is hit. So now you launch all your VLSs. And it should do it by itself. So we've lost our bomber, our torpedo bomber, sorry. But it should sink it because the fact is, if it works properly, it has been working recently. I've done it about 12 times um, and it's worked. Okay, so that's one ship down. The Bismarck is hit. The VLS should turn around. So we'll just speed up to go and find it. Now, I have had someone who said, uh, get some gens to buy the uh, radar uh, dish, and I will go and do that. Um, I just need to quickly, like, just use everything else to see how successful it is against everything before building, uh, sorry, buying it. So there's Bismarck, um, and, you know, it's getting, getting easier to defeat these ships. Especially with these new guns, the modifications um, on the site, Type 77, it's a very powerful gun, um, and especially with this, it helps it a lot. And all these, the VLS is the most powerful things possible. Of course, I could get more, uh, they are 900,000 each. Well, it's a lot of work to do, especially when you got, I have six of them, so that's a lot of money. I uh, like a lot of battles I've had to play to get them. Um, the first one was an achievement. The first one I ever got, that was a huge achievement. And it was one of my most successful videos as well. Um, getting, I believe it's at 800 views or just below that. But that's crazy. It's uh, It's been a, like just under a year and that's the most success successful one. Probably this might be as well. I have no clue yet. And just gotta wait and everything. Um, but I feel like getting some phalaxes to make it look more real. But the problem is, phalaxes are not that effective at range. Like they're good for decorations in a way, because well, it looks nice. But it's good against uh, if you get in a VLS yourself. If if a VLS is coming towards you, then that's good. But otherwise, mm, not the best kind of thing. Especially when you're in a ship like this. Optional torpedo tubes. There's not really a point in getting them. When you can get the underwater torpedo tubes. And 610mm torpedo tubes. And that's a triple one. Um, there's not many. Real point. The MK36. Yes of course get that. And same with the RGM84 uh, Harpoon. Definitely get those two. And maybe the 120mm 28 thing. Don't find the point of the AK64. 6300 or the M6 Falcon or the Hedgehog. I know it's an anti submarine, but there's not many battles in the thing that has the head like anti uh, submarines in it. Um, so it's, there's no real point in getting those. Um, so that's, that's just being honest. Torpedo troops, they're just too expensive um, and they're not very like effective. They maybe have 22 kilometer range, what's like more than anything, uh, any um, torpedoes. But torpedoes are mostly used for close range ships um, and also anti-submarines as well. What's well, very good for them as well. Uh, so there's no real point having that extra bit of range. Yeah, of course, keep you out of danger for a little bit, little bit longer. But the VLSs, well, they're just out dwarf everything else. Uh, of course, they're no good for long, um, at short range, but there's no real requirement about that. I've still got all my rubbish guns that I just spent so much on. 
engines, of course I've got like at least, well I haven't got the Bismarck or the lower class because I've usually gone with the Yamato, uh, but I should go for the lower because it's it's a smaller compartment, what means it can fit in smaller gaps, same with the Bismarck, but I usually go with the gas turbine and that's what is on here, um, and it does make it very fast even though it's got some very heavy armour, it's still making speeds very fast. Um, going up to, I believe it's 108 is what I think, I don't know, 108, no. Okay, so that, even though it's got heavy armour, it can't really survive against much. Um, so if we use HMS Royal Roma for instance, just launch everything we have at it. So, just try and disable it. If we try and back out of this and just destroy the fighters and that torpedo bomber as well, we can't reach the all the bombers. What's a shame. So, yeah, this is where the chance is very hard. If it gets hit by a bomb like that, one hit and it's gone. And even though it's got good armor uh, overall, it may not be the best armor. Of course, you can get better ships with better armor and better toughness. Um, but it's a very effective ship for very long range. What is the point in most of these battles anyway? Is long range. Of course, the multi-stage aircraft uh, airbase, sorry, does have a lot of fighters. This is good for like the fighter jets, um, but not good for bombers, uh, except for the torpedo bomber. Otherwise, it's that. It's basically the best thing you could possibly get. I'm not saying that anyone else can't create a better ship. This is a ship that I've created that I haven't done any jailbreaks or cheats or anything. Just done it from what I can earn and my skills of building ships and naval engineering. So, you know, that, there's a mixture between all that. Um, and that's what I came up with. It, two of my most favourite ships so far, HMS Royal Roma, is one of them as well. Because uh, I've never actually used ever... Uh, never actually used an angle flight deck and I don't really see the point of this but uh, it just adds a little bit of edge to it in a way um, and it's perfectly balanced so it doesn't look like it for some reason but yeah uh, we can just watch the little planes come back on again we'll just launch them all so how they do that circle and then they choose their flight path. Um, yeah, this one's coming in an angle. This one's coming in straight. These two are coming straight. And one comes on an angle. Um, I will get tons more planes. I believe I'm going to try and go and get 20 gems. Yeah, I'll try and get 20 gems or 8 gems. I'm not quite sure yet. Because um, I'm not earning anything from all this. It's kind of all out of my pocket. Um, so... You know, it's just because I enjoy it. That's the only reason why I pay for anything. But uh, to get aircraft, it's not that expensive. There's only one gem each. Um, so I would usually go with the F4U uh, Corsair. Uh, Spitfire I'm not really um, into. Bombers, I'm not interested in gems. But you can get the SPD Dauntless. What was a bomber as well. Um, what is the one I would usually get. And then Torpedo Bombers as well is the... Uh, Nakajami B5N what is the one that I will be getting and another thing that I need to get for gems is the ANSPG 65 uh, 62 sorry why did they say 65 I have no clue um, it's a fire control radar system um, for missiles so that will be good with the BLS um, so that will use four gems up you don't you only need one of them and it will probably go somewhere on, well I'm suggesting it will go on top of that whole part there, what's highlighted at the moment. And that's where it will probably be going. Um, and then it will improve the accuracy of these VLSs like huge amounts. But you know, we'll have to wait and I'll create a video for that as well so everyone can watch it. Um, and yeah, so I'll just create that for everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, just leave a comment below which one's your favourite ship, um, and just, you know, 
I'll try and keep up with all this. Uh, now I'm trying to go into Rome Total War, what is the older version, or the original one. What I like, it's better than, well, in my personal opinion, better than the, um, Rome Total War 2. But thank you guys for joining me anyway.